So today I'm going to um, do a kind of makeup tutorial for face painting uh, for my Drew and I costume that I did last year for BlizzCon and I'll show a picture after this. And um, it's going to be with purple face paint and I'll show you everything that you need first and then I'll go put on my wig cap. Um, the first thing I use, well the color that I used was um, Paradise Makeup aqua color, whatever, Mehron. This is purple. Just purple. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's kind of dried up. I used this one last year for the convention. It'll be fine. It smells fantastic, by the way. It smells like coconut. So, um, and then I use a barrier spray. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Da -da -da. Uh, it's kind of see-through, so it's hard to read. But it's a very spray. Picture and sealer. I usually spray this on first, and I spray it in between each layer. Um, mm -hmm. Ooh, that was open. Color set powder. Uh, by Mayron. All these by Mayron. I just kind of ordered everything all at once. This color set powder, I put it on um, after just to kind of help dry it up and keep oils. And then, um... This is the powder puff that I used for the color set powder. Um, since when you put one flat color on your face, it kind of makes your color look flat, not very dimensional. So um, I'm going to be using probably a couple of different purples, but what I have is MAC Graphology. This is actually, um, I don't know if this is around anymore, because I think when I got it, it was, it had just been, um, it doesn't want to focus. It's just been discontinued, so I got one of the last ones. Um, also, for the lips, let's see. Oh, there's my other wig cap. I used Max Cyber. It's a nice purple color. It's awesome. I don't think I can think of any other reason that I would ever wear this purple. I don't know. It's kind of dark. So, oh, and brushes. I have lots of brushes. What I did is I just bought like a big old pack of, um, I think acrylic is what these are, I don't know, they have white bristles, um, and they're very soft, and they go on really well with skin, like the regular brushes don't, don't do so well, um, like the regular paint brushes, so it's just easy, they're cheap, and they're easy, uh, to use, but this is, um, I actually just use this because of the type of makeup I was using, uh, I think with, like, um, Aqua Color by Krylon, uh, you want to use a little makeup sponge. And I'm actually going to be doing two tutorials today, one with uh, the dry eye look and with the purple, which is just the painting technique that I used for BlizzCon. And then the second one um, for my Witch Doctor costume, because I got the paint in, and I'm going to be using the sponge for that one because the sponge just makes it go on a lot easier with that type of paint. So, I'm going to go put on my wig cap, and I'll be right back. Okay, so, um, first of all, I realize that this video might be a little bit too long, so I have to make it into, um, two parts, which is whatever. Um, ignore the huge forehead, this is why I have bangs. You want to start with a clean face, always, and I start with the Mehran Barrier Spray, just close your eyes, spray it on. <coughs> tastes terrible. Awesome. And I just kind of rub that in, actually. Mm. Awesome. I look terrible. Now, I have my handy dandy paintbrush and some water. And I'm just pouring a little bit of water into that. And I just roll it around. That was probably too much water. Too much water. But it's okay. It's okay. We can work with this. So I'm just going to kind of tilt it so that the water is going <laughs> one way. And, um, just get it on the brush until it's kind of thick-ish. There we are. And I just kind of start get my mirror. Okay, just start wherever. I usually just start on my 
cheeks and work out. Yes, it looks blotchy, but we will fix this. Just kind of go over your eyebrows. It doesn't matter. We're going to cover these up anyway. I will kind of dry over them. I went over my eyes as well. And the brow paints. Do it again. Ooh, see, that was a little bit darker. That one had a little bit less water on it. It's okay. You kind of want to shape your eyebrows as you're doing this. I probably should have shaped them before. It's okay. I'm going to go ahead and cover the rest of my face in this fashion since it's I'm just doing the same thing and as soon as I'm done with this layer I'll be right back. Okay, so got my first layer. Yes, it looks a little bit blotchy. It's okay, we're gonna go over it with the second layer and that should fix it and then we should get on with the painting part. Um, I'm just gonna do my face for this, you know, purpose, obviously. Um, for your costume you cover up whatever skin is showing, and you can cover it up using the same technique. I used the same thing on my hands. Um, I did have to touch up my hands a couple of times during the convention because I was carrying a staff and it would wipe off. And um, Also with this color, for some reason in sunlight, it kind of turned blue. I don't know. I don't know if that was just because I was hot. Um, maybe I was sweating and it was like reacting, or maybe it was just the sun. I don't know. So, so um, now you want to do Bear spray again, same way. Only hold it further away, further away, because if you, it'll drip and if it gets too close. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, and I'll let that dry. Once it feels like it's dry, I'm going to go back and do the same thing. Just cover it the exact same way. You want to cover your eyebrows, your lips. Um, eyes. Uh, don't get too close under the eye because I don't think this stuff is very safe to get in the eyes, but you can go in with like um, eyeliner. I'm going to use the purple eyeshadow for this. So I'm going to put a second layer on and I'll be right back. <laughs> 